Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank, the community bank where you come first. My first guest today is the Naperville Sister Cities Commission. And joining me, Annette Goodman, who is a commissioner, and Randy Russell, who is the co-chair for the commission. So welcome, guys. Glad you could join us today. Well, thank you for thank you. having us. Well, listen, let's start out. Nat, why don't you tell us a little bit about the commission? Well, the commission has been around since 1993, and um, the concept of sister cities came from President Eisenhower in 1956, who wanted to bring cultures foreign cultures to the United States. And I can particularly appreciate it because of my own personal experience. I lived in uh, Mexico and Spain and did consulting on five continents. So I can certainly appreciate what other countries can bring to us. And there are certain, certain uh, cities like Chicago that has as many as 20 sister cities wow. where the various ethnic groups support those particular sister cities in those countries. That's great. Now we have two, is that right? Two Tell us a little bit about that. Two sister cities. The first one is Nitra Slovakia. It started in 1993, right when the commission was formed, and right after the, the Iron Curtain uh, was, was taken down by the, by the Soviet Union. And then the second sister city was just uh, established in 2010. It's in Pascuaro in Mexico, in the, in the uh, state of Michoacan. And we've made uh, a few forays into the, into the Mexican sister city. We've made a number of different uh, cultural exchanges with Nitra. And tell us a little bit about that whole cultural exploration. Why is that so important, do you feel? It's very important for uh, both parties, the, the U.S. people, the Naperville people, as well as the uh, people in the, the, the sister city and, and the country. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to, f to understand how people work together, how people live, and as Nat, Nat mentioned a few minutes ago, President Eisenhower's concept was citizen diplomacy. You, mm -hmm. you want to you bring people together, they'll work together more effectively, and they'll behave better uh, in, the, in the world stage. It's kind of an understanding of each other, right? Uh, most likely. Yeah. Most uh, definitely. Other benefits that you've seen from the, from the particular mm -hmm. partnerships, the particular cities that you've been engaged with, with the commission? Oh, they have, a, they can appreciate some of the things we have. Of course, we're a little Oh, we're more developed than some of the other countries. And in fact, uh, we, we just gave a fire truck in the city of Naperville to the city of Cancun. Yeah. It was part and it was all started through the Sister City Project. So we're quite proud of that. And um, it's going to help not only Cancun, but our friends that are going down to spend some time in Cancun because they have a large ladder that takes them all the way up to the high rise, which they didn't have in the past. That's great. That sharing of resources, that was just, we just covered that. It's, it's really nice because it's something that we're able to, to give and we know it's going to have great benefits. Yeah, we weren't making any use of it and uh, certainly it can be used and can be used quite effectively. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Now you have a young artist competition coming up, which I know you're particularly excited about. So I'd oh. like you to share a little bit about that if you would. Sure. <clears throat> We've been doing the young artist competition here in Naperville for about six years. Um, it's, it's an overall sponsored program from the Sister Cities International Organization. They set the theme, they set the guidelines, and then the various sister cities uh, inspire, hopefully, their artists between 13 and 18 years old to submit artwork. Ours is judged by uh, local artists, and then we award a winner and four um, runners up, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, there's, a, there's a small monetary prize associated with each one of those uh, items, and everybody gets a certificate for having participated. That's, that's incredible. And I'm sure you, you get a lot of very interesting artist takes from 13 to 18. I bet there's a lot of interesting artwork that comes across. Some of it is amazing. <clears throat> one thing I would like to tell you uh, real quickly is that um, in 2012 and 2013, the winners from Nequa Valley High School of our competition were also national and international winners on the world stage. Fantastic. And so that was really great. That, that is really great. That's terrific. Now you also have, Nat, tell us a little bit about your annual conference because you've got this big event coming up yeah. with that as well. So please share. Well, April 17th, we have, we have a gala for the delegates. There's going to be a business meeting the next day and it's going to be at Wentz Hall. 
but we're inviting the entire people of Naperville or surrounding areas to come to our entertainment component, which is going to be at Wentz Hall, 8 o'clock. It's going to consist of four components. The Chicago Sinfonetta, which is well known for their ethnic uh, pursuits. Uh, we have a ballet Forklorico, which represents our Mexican component. And we have uh, legendary Slo uh, Slovakian dancers to represent our Nitra, ne uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Nitra, um, Nitra, Slovakian area, and as well as the Nikwa Valley. <laughs> oh, Nikwa, that's a lot Nikwa. of ends we're doing. <laughs> Nikwa Valley singers, which we're extremely proud of. They're well known, and they do an excellent job. And uh, so it's a diverse uh, program. It's only $20. I mean, if, here it is. Wentz Hall, most of their productions are a great deal more than that. Sure. And not only that, we're supporting sister cities and these particular organizations that are going to participate. That's terrific. Well, we are going to invite everybody to come on out to the International Cultural Celebration. It's going to be coming up on Friday, April 17th at Wentz Hall. Go to the website for more information. We're going to take a short break, but don't go away because we're going to be right back with more Spotlight. Spotlight.